Sam here from Sheridan Computers. And I want to take a look at um, em encrypted external USB hard drives, specifically the IODD range. We've been using these for a number of years and I um, give them to our technicians. They're just a brilliant product. Uh, looking back on the channel, I can't believe that I've not done a video on these. So hopefully if uh, one thing that you can take away from this is the knowledge of this product if you're not familiar with them. Uh, they act as a standard encrypted hard drive. Uh, you unlock it with a passcode. It's AES 256 bit encrypted, so it's secure. Uh, you can use them as a standard hard drive or you can create an ISO directory on there and you can literally copy your ISO library onto the hard drive. Um, and then when you take it out to a system, you plug it in, enter your passcode and you can sc scroll down through the list of ISOs that you've got and boot off the ones that you want. Uh, it supports booting off an ISO. I believe it also supports ver uh, booting off uh, VHDs, though I haven't used it for this. Um, but we supply them to our technicians and they are really are an amazing product and the amount of time that they save us is just unbelievable. We have link Linux on there, recovery uh, images, we have Windows images on there, pretty much all the Windows versions. Um, so I'm gonna go through and take a look at it. So this is the uh, one that we have. I'm the owner of Sheridan Computers. Sheridan Computers is an IT support company based in Manchester. I formed the company back in 2002, so I've been doing this for quite a while now. While mainly we work with companies that don't have their own internal IT staff, even if you do, we're quite happy to work with them if they need an extra pair of hands or if you have a project coming up that you need assistance with. If you'd like to hire us, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk. There's a hire us link at the top of the page. If you follow this link and fill out the form and leave some details on what you're looking for, once I've reviewed it, I'll get back to you with whether we are able to help. While you're on our website, you can find out more information on my company, some of the people that we deal with, as well as the services that we offer. If you have a technical question, but maybe you're not quite ready to hire somebody yet, or maybe if you just want to pop along and say hi, feel free to head across to our forums at forums.sheridan.co.uk. Our forums are completely free for anybody to use, I do try to spend as much time here as I can and answer any questions as they are posted. On a final note, if you find this video useful, please take the time to hit the like button. Also consider subscribing to the channel. And if you hit the notifications icon, you'll receive notifications of any new videos as they are released. Now quite often, I'll leave uh, links to any products or services that are reviewed in the description at the bottom of the video. If you use these said links to purchase the services, then you're helping support the channel. Any support that you can give towards the channel is greatly appreciated as it does take quite a bit of time to produce this content. Let's get on with the video. I just uh, adjusted the camera there to get in better. So this is my personal one. Um, it's quite well built. Uh, I can't remember if it came with the case or not. I believe it did. Um, it certainly didn't come with the hard drive in it. Um, so I bought a hard drive for it, the new ones. You can buy in 512 gig versions or you can buy in one terabyte versions. Um, this one's still got the wrapping on the front of it. Uh, but I've used it quite heavily. Uh, the fact that you can just copy all your ISOs that you need and then you can scroll through and pick the one that you want is really good. Uh, I'll take the screws out of this so you can see what's inside. So when I purchased this one, it didn't come with a hard drive in it. Um, so I just went across, bought a standard, I think this is a 240 that's in here. Um, fitted it, when you switch it on, it asks for your passcode. You stick your passcode in, the drive will, the drive will initialize uh, and it'll be fully encrypted. Just stick this back together. Oh, these screws are small. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this thing up. Try and bring this in a bit more. So now it's saying input password, as you can see there. Let me just stick the password in.
So we've got please wait. Um, let's stick it this way so we can see it properly. The lights kind of reflect on that. So we can scroll through. As you can see, we've got CentOS on there. Um, some Dell firmware stuff. FreeBSD. Um, FreeNAS on there. Some other firmware stuff. We've got Kali Linux on there. Um, so you can store a lot of uh, ISLs on there. Obviously, with the size of it, we've got Parrot. Uh, you can basically select pop OS there. You can select the um, ISO that you want. Hit the enter button. And then that's ready to appear as a virtual drive. Uh, so the good thing is that all these ISOs, you can boot off any of them as soon as you plug it into an external machine. Um, stick your passcode in, off you go. Um, the amount of time it saves us because we can just carry basically everything that we need on here. Um, and one of the really cool options of this is if I go into menu, uh, that's a USB control. And you see there we have the right protects option. So if I press enter, it's restarted, but the device is now right protected. Um, so say we supply these to all our technicians, we have antivirus um, software on there, removal tools, malware removal, and the good thing about that is because it's right protected, I can plug it into any system, uh, it can't write to the device, and it can't, obviously can't get infected, so we can um, run any cleanup tools that we need. Um, I'm going to leave the links to these on Amazon in a minute, because I'm going to get the new one and I'll do the review on the new one as I've got it. Um, Sorry to zoom back out of that. So, a really powerful little device. Uh, we use them all the time, I've used them for years. This is about the uh, third one I've had. And it's not because they broke, it's just because they've, they've got stolen out of the back of the cars or got lost. I generally don't keep clients' data on there, I just keep ISOs on there and um, antivirus stuff, uh, malware removal tools, things like that, um, system utilities, uh, cleanup tools. Just this is probably um, one of the best things that we've ever bought and give our technicians. They are proper amazing kits. If I head over to Amazon, pull the mic back over here a little bit. Um, this is a new version. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit more stylish. It's uh, quite funky. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these and I'll do a video on this one and we'll take a look at this one as well. Um, they just are really good devices. Uh, so the 512 gig version is 130 quid, and the two, the one terabyte version is um, 196 quid, excluding VAT. You can see a lot of reviews on these, uh, and it says AS256 right protect blocker, win to go, auto sleep, uh, safety removal. You can just literally hold the one key and it'll shut down itself, so you don't have to go into your windows and eject the hard drive. You can just hold the number one key. Um, virtual hard drive, so it'll um, boot, virtual boot off um, ISOs. If you've got an ISO in it and you connect it to a computer, you can also see the ISO if you need to copy things off it. Um, you can write to it using Rufus or Etcher, whichever. It recognises bootable hard drive for Windows, Linux, Mac. Uh, they work with, and I can verify that they do work with multiple operating systems. I use it all the time with uh, Linux, FreeBSDs, I've used it on Macs. Um, there's not much that it doesn't work with. Um, also says it boots off, uh, it recognises VHD files. Um, I haven't tried it. Um, that's one thing that I can play with in the future. And it's, you know, very, very lightweight. So if you're looking for uh, encrypted hard drives, um, the encryption is, uh, you know, a really convenient function. But the fact that you can um, virtual boot ISOs off it is uh, what we actually use them for. Um, I've gone from carrying this around in my car. To carrying this around. Um, we used to have all our CDs in here, um, various Windows versions, 
<laughs> no need to do that, it's 2020. So I'll leave the links to these um, down below in Amazon. Um, highly recommended. Uh, and I'm looking forward to doing a review on the uh, new version of it as soon as we get hold of it. Hopefully that'll be uh, tomorrow or the day after. If you like this video, please take the time to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It does help and I am trying to get our channel built up. I'll see you in the next video.